Okay, so that's probably going to be my last video for the food. Um, just because from there on out, it's pretty basic ideas. Vegetables, protein, um, carbs. And it's, it's, I kind of just rotate things in and out. Um, yeah, as far as, that's just my lunch and my dinner options. Um, my breakfast has been the same for probably four months now. It's a scoop of protein. I've tried the vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry now, and chocolate is still probably the best. I would like to uh, try and find like an extra. They keep talking about cocoa um, sweetener or cocoa chocolate ground. I don't know. I'd like to find some of that. I just keep forgetting to look for it at the store just to make it more chocolatey. But what I do is, um, for the longest time, I've been putting ice, a packet of sweetener, a scoop of protein, and half a cup of almond milk um, for the protein shake, and I blend it. Well, I haven't had ice here lately um, because I just haven't picked any up, and uh, it's not so bad if you shake it up and then pour it on ice, like I'll stop at 7-Eleven and buy a 10 cent cup of ice, and it's not bad, it's just you have less to drink, um, so it's not like a smoothie first thing in the morning, or like a milkshake first thing in the morning. And then I eat, uh, anyway, so I have my protein shake and half of a banana, and that's my breakfast almost every morning. Um, and then I have two mandatory snacks. One between breakfast and lunch, and that one is two ounces of protein and half a cup of fruit. And then one between lunch and dinner, and that is um, two ounces of protein and, I, and a carb, a half a cup of carb. But I, um, I have the option to switch it out for um, a cup of vegetables, and that's usually what I do unless I just feel like I'm extremely hungry. And then I'll do my protein and carb. Uh, and I feel pretty good about that and then I have an optional snack at the end of the day after dinner and that is half a cup of fruit uh, so I just didn't really feel like it was necessary to um, do videos on those just because you know it's it's pretty basic um, and I just use the the chicken that I make once a week I buy a big package of chicken, cook it all together, put different, like I'll put certain seasonings on two and then another kind of seasoning on three and so that way I have different kinds of chicken, not, I mean the flavor, you can taste the flavor but that's where my soy sauces and my teriyaki sauces, um, try to do uh, as low a calories as I can. Sodium is high on that stuff though, so you definitely got to be careful of that. However, with as much water as I drink, um, it kind of just continuously flushes it out. But if I slack on water, I, I'm guaranteed to be holding water weight. I um, think that's it. If I, find, if I can think of anything else that I just feel like I really need to share with you food-wise, I will definitely do a video on that. Um, it is Friday, so you all have a good weekend, and I will see you Monday. Hopefully I will have something to talk about, because if I have to do more of these videos, I don't have any. Um, yep, so there we go. Uh, eight days until my final weigh-in, and then I'm ready to start doing my weigh-ins with y'all again. Um, just because I feel like I'm, I'm more... Held, held more accountable whenever I have to do my weigh-ins with y'all. Um, however, th this is fun. I, w I was glad I got to share a few things. I know a lot of people wouldn't think of cauliflower. I can't, I can't remember what show I saw that on, but it was um, your food favorites, you know, that are 2,000 calories for two tacos turned into a healthier option. So, um, and then I put, I made it my own, but they used cauliflower. Um, alright, bye guys. Y'all have a good weekend.